with the rapid fire advancements in humanoid robotics, it's been a minute since we checked in with Boston Dynamics' iconic robot Atlas. Stick around for the latest developments in the growing AI robot market, including new footage of China's CL1, a realistic robot trained on Vedic values, and speculation about Apple. Remember to subscribe and use the comments to suggest humanoid robots to cover. The updated Atlas mimics human behavior but isn't limited by it. The fully electric AI robot replaced the original hydraulic Atlas, which was retired in April 2024. Boston Dynamics says the robot's form factor makes it ideal for working alongside people, but it's designed to exceed human capability. The company's other robots, like Spot, are made for jobs inspecting sites, mapping dangerous areas, and carrying heavy loads. Lessons from commercializing the robots are being applied to the new Atlas. Boston Dynamics recently shared a montage of the hydraulic Atlas handling items like tools and stools, teasing that there's much more to come. It's unclear if the footage is from before or after its retirement. Atlas is being tested in collaboration with its parent company Hyundai for next-generation automotive manufacturing processes. This signals that the humanoid robot isn't just an R&D project anymore. Boston Dynamics introduced the OG Atlas in 2013. The robot was initially developed for search and rescue applications with funding and oversight from DARPA. It was equipped with advanced sensory systems, including LiDAR and stereo vision, to perceive and interact with its surroundings effectively. At first, Atlas required a human operator, but it gained increasing levels of autonomy through subsequent revision. It evolved to perform tasks independently, making real-time decisions based on environmental conditions. The new Atlas has the electric actuators rather than hydraulic for improved efficiency, precise control, and less complexity. Electric systems tend to run quieter, and they're generally more energy efficient, which is crucial for robots performing continuous tasks. Boston Dynamics says it's also improved its software in recent years with advanced AI and machine learning tools. Reinforcement learning and computer vision help Atlas understand and adapt to complex situations, improving its usefulness in the real world. In a recent blog post, the company stressed that commercializing advanced robots like Atlas requires patience. Patience will likely be elusive as competition grows rapidly in the humanoid robotic market, which didn't exist when Boston Dynamics introduced Atlas to the world. Today, the robot is up against Figure 02, which Figure AI calls the world's most advanced and first commercially viable autonomous humanoid robot. Figure's much-hyped robot recently completed testing at a BMW plant, and the luxury automaker is exploring future use. Unitree's H1, a Chinese AI robot that can do backflips and is touted as the fastest humanoid robot on two feet. The H1 is available for purchase, with prices ranging from $90 to over $150,000, and is already used in universities for robotics research. The Unitree robot is shown here learning to dance as part of a study by UC San Diego researchers. Tesla's Optimus, which Elon Musk says can shoot the EV automaker's market value into the trillions. A small number of Tesla bots are being tested at Gigafactory. Tesla plans to produce a limited number of the robots in 2025 for internal use and increase production in 2026. Agility Robotics' Digit and Aptronics Apollo, both of which are being deployed for warehouse work. Phoenix, which Sanctuary AI says will bring artificial general intelligence into physical reality. And that's just to name a few. While we await new details about the Electric Atlas, let's get into the state of humanoid robotics. Limix Dynamics just shared a three-minute video of its CL1 robot doing heavy loading tasks continuously without stopping. The robot uses sensors to find objects and automatically adjusts to handle different tasks. The humanoid ignores unexpected disruptions, relocates target objects, replans tasks on its own, and adjusts to place objects accurately. The Chinese robotics startup says CL1's ability to handle issues and keep working is key to industrial efficiency. The robot can also dynamically adjust to real-time terrain changes, allowing it to navigate complex staircases. In the new video, CL1 shows different postures like deep squatting, standing up, and walking while carrying a load.
Limix says its advanced motion control systems power the robot's movements, allowing for smooth and precise whole body motion. The CL1 is equipped with proprietary high-performance actuators for the strength and flexibility needed for complex movements. Its integrated active environment perception technology gives it visibility into different types of terrain. It uses general AI algorithms to learn and adapt in dynamic situations. The company says it's working toward robotics that physically embody artificial general intelligence. Limix Dynamics is also developing its biped robot P1, which can walk through tough terrains like forests using advanced learning techniques. The robot uses reinforcement learning to adapt to new environments with no prior knowledge. The company is using data from the P1 to make even more advanced robots in the future. Anushka is the first humanoid robot with a beating heart. It's also the first robot with intelligence based on Vedic values, which are ancient Indian principles of self-awareness, right thinking, and moral behavior. And it was built from scrap parts found in a dump yard. It took students from the Krisha Institute of Engineering and Technology in India about a year and a half to build the humanoid robot. Its face is made from 3D printed flexible silicone skin. It's powered by an i7 processor, uses natural language processing for understanding and responding to queries, and relies on OpenAI's technology to select and process data for interaction. The project was completed on a shoestring budget of less than $2,500. Is Apple about to join the growing humanoid robot market with its own advanced creations? According to Bloomberg's Mark Gurman, Apple is planning to release a device that combines an iPad screen with a robot arm in 2026 or 2027. Matt Costello, who worked on the HomePod, is leading hardware development. The robotic arm moves the screen and responds to voice commands using Siri. The development is expected to align closely with Apple intelligence the company's AI systems it's integrating with its hardware. The price would be around $1,000. According to the Bloomberg report, Apple is also developing robots that can move around the house and is even considering a humanoid robot. Robotics expert Wolfram Tapiner is leading the other robot projects with a team of about 100 engineers. Gurman reported that Apple's industrial design team has been exploring robotics for years but struggled to get company buy-in. Executives are prioritizing the project now as Apple seeks new revenue sources. Rumors about Apple entering robotics picked up steam earlier in 2024 after the company ended its electric car project called Project Titan. For almost a decade, Apple sought to create a self-driving car, but the project was plagued by changing leadership and struggles with emerging technology. Eventually, Apple's executives decided the competition and cost were too much to make it worthwhile. Apple's industrial design team has been exploring tabletop robotic concepts for years, but there wasn't consensus within the company, including the software engineering organization and marketing teams, over whether to move forward. Hello, I'm Asimo, and it is a pleasure to meet you. Let's shake hands to remember your visit. Thank you very much. Please follow me. Honda's ASIMO, which stands for Advanced Step in Innovative Mobility, was introduced in 2000. With the ability to walk, run, climb stairs, and recognize faces and voices, ASIMO was one of the most advanced humanoid robots of its time. It could move with human-like smoothness, climbing stairs and navigating uneven surfaces autonomously. Its hands perform tasks requiring fine motor control like holding trays, pushing carts, and using sign language. It could recognize the facial features and voices of multiple people at a time. It understood pre-programmed gestures and commands. Equipped with a range of sensors and AI, ASIMO navigated complex environments and interacted with people in a responsive manner. Honda continued refining ASIMO over the years. Its development spanned multiple versions with enhanced interaction capabilities, mobility, and intelligence. ASIMO was retired from public demonstrations around 2018, but the automaker has been incorporating technology developed for it throughout its products and services.
Two of these humanoid robots worked around the clock for at least 21 days at Zika's 5G smart factory. The Chinese electric vehicle manufacturer is testing the UB Tech Walker S Lite humanoid robots for tasks like lifting and carrying materials and assisting in smart manufacturing operations. The Walker S Lite is a lighter, more deployable version of the Walker S that's reportedly been in testing at NIO, another Chinese EV maker. The Lite version handles general manufacturing tasks while the Walker S is suited for complex tasks like quality inspections and assembly line integration. The Walker S Lite can create 3D semantic maps for navigation. It recognizes and grasps objects with hand-eye coordination. The testing is part of a collaboration between UB Tech, Miracle Automation Engineering, and Zeker's parent company, Geely Holding. Zeker, founded in March 2021, specializes in high-tech, luxury electric vehicles. NEO is also testing the first humanoid robot equipped with Huawei's Harmony OS at the Chinese electric vehicle manufacturer's assembly plant. The robot, named Quavo, is being tested at factories of NEO and Jiangsu Hangtong Group. The humanoid robot developed by Leiju Robotics debuted at Huawei's HDC 2024 developer conference in June. Quavo is designed for industrial and domestic settings. Harmony OS is an open-source operating system designed to work with a broad range of devices like smartphones, tablets, wearables, smart TVs, and IoT devices. Founded in 2014, NIO is one of China's leading EV manufacturers, focusing on high-performance, premium electric cars. Chinese scientists say they've cracked the challenge of making humanoid robots show realistic facial expression. They say the two-step process they've devised can improve human-robot interactions in roles like customer service and caregiving. Software teaches the robot to create detailed facial expressions by using action units to isolate emotion-related features. The isolation helps the robot focus on emotions, making its expressions more accurate. The robot's face moves naturally using motor commands to match the expressions. The robot was developed by Professor Liu Jiafeng's team at Hohai University. The findings were presented in the International Journal IEEE Transactions on Robotics. A humanoid robot named Adam is now serving drinks at Walmart in Rockford, Illinois. The AI robot, developed by Rich Tech Robotics, will serve drinks like coffee and boba tea at the One Kitchen restaurant inside the department store. Beaver's Wealth Universe, which owns the One Kitchen restaurant brand, plans to introduce Adam in 240 ghost kitchens, which are virtual kitchens used for delivery and takeout. The parent company created a new company, Alphamax Management, to manage the robotic integrations and customer service. Las Vegas-based Rich Tech also recently deployed Adam to dispense drinks like lemon drops and whiskey sours at the Texas Rangers Globe Life Field. The robot served more than 500 drinks in its first week. The company says Adam makes work easier for stadium employees, especially on busy game days. My name is Menti Bot. How can I help you? Hey, Menti. Please take the shopping cart and come with me. This is Menti Bot, an AI shopping companion in robotic form. Menti Robotics says a large international retailer suggested deploying robots to push shopping carts for the elderly. The Israeli company says it was also approached by a nursing home chain considering robotics to remedy labor shortages. In response, the team quickly developed a robot that could grab a shopping cart and follow someone in a wheelchair. The robot stops when its shopping companion does and pushes the cart smoothly. The robot is expected to be available to select customers in 2025. Remember to subscribe to stay hip on the latest in humanoid robotics. Leave suggestions for humanoid robots to include in future roundups in the comments.